Hi there. We're in downtown Jacksonville this evening and we have come for Christmas in the Cathedral District. This is the night that they'll have uh, um, some vendors, uh, apparently in a covered area. The, it, there will be lights um, and music, so that's exciting. There's also supposed to be the opening the um, churches in the Cathedral District and there's transportation to them so we're really looking forward to this. Come along and join us will you? Well we got our wristbands and we see that there are a couple of food trucks. There's funnel cake and there's a pizza one that we ate at. Um, af Wait when did we eat at the pizza one? Well that was uh, when we came down for the Van Gogh. Oh yeah, we ate there after Van Gogh, but we didn't catch it on video, but it was really good. The Cathedral Bookstore has, um, it's open, and they also have a table. And there's, um, oh, Ruby Beach Brewing Company over there. But then there's a whole bunch of um, crafts and who knows what else. All set up down here behind the church. And across the street is a really nice church, and we parked beside the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, which I think, well, I'm crossing my fingers that we'll be able to see on the church tour. So let's check everything out. Well, we stopped at the little table across here and discovered St. John's Cathedral Cooking Ministry. How cool is that? Everything is um, $3. They've got cash. some M&M yes. scones and some peppermint mocha cupcakes, some red velvet cookies. I can't see what's down the end, but we're getting some iced gingerbread oatmeal cookies. They've got salted caramel pumpkin cheesecakes, pumpkin snickerdoodles. I'm actually surprised that Lisa didn't go for those. They're advertising salted caramel chocolate chip cheesecakes, but don't appear to have any yet. That's okay. It, it hasn't been that long since lunch. Do oh, they do. <laughs> so what did you get, Lisa? Um, an M&M scone and um, something. Uh, the gingerbread? gingerbread? Did you get the gingerbread? Yeah, was it oatmeal gingerbread? I think it said ice meal. Thank you. <laughs> well, yes, thank you. I'd like a cup of tea. Well, your sign says 50% off, but yeah, it's it, actually it's 75. 75. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Oh. Oh. You could take me to court for that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what a lovely wreath. Oh, I love your wreath. Yeah. Oh, wreaths are little strong. Oh. Ooh. Well, everything is a is a bargain. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, we came in the bookstore. They have some adorable cards. Is it? Oh, it's a um, rolled paper. They're absolutely beautiful. Chocolate, chocolate advent calendars with Bible text. So, do they have any musical books? I wonder. But they, they have socks that say koalas and kangaroos. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. What's this, Dr. Annie? Oh. Well, we missed the beginning of this because we're already into December, but. Thirty dollars is pretty expensive, but it is lovely. Wow! Oh, you know, I'd be seriously tempted to get this anyway. Oh. And a cat bookshelf. Oh. And a cat bookshelf. Yeah. 
So this is what happens. You become a volunteer, and then every time you come to volunteer, you buy several things. <laughs> Yeah. You, you could just contribute. Maybe it would be cheaper uh, that yes, way. It would be <laughs> oh, how adorable! Oh, and they have this cute thing. They're whispering. They're whispering. This is another advent calendar. Yes, they're thirty dollars, but I really like them. Welcome, great, Hello. thank you. So the well, no, it's it's, it's, yes, it does. it's environmentally friendly, you're reusing, not getting plastic, it's environment, mission, oh, like, apron, yeah, of Christmas in the it's Cathedral right. District. Every time you do it, it's <laughs> and they have lots of angels, <laughs> all sorts of shapes and sizes. <laughs> Shot. I can tell. You're a natural. They're three different There's two. They all have one. There's two. Got two designs. Oh, what did I say? I think they're 1250. Sir, Rose's last name is Wayne. Oh, wait a minute. We are going to buy two packs. One for this year and one for next year. Yes. Well, they have Advent wreaths. I saw the we do. But we really do need the candles to go with it. You just say that word out loud, the On the camera. Or row or any of No, good. These are lovely. Um, it's going to be just a, a dipped uh, metal dipped in gold. It's not, it's not a 14 karat. Um, no, it's probably just a non uh, tarnishing metal of some type. It's, it's not sterling. The only reason why I ask is the nickel allergies that I have. Um, I doubt it's nickel because I think that's kind of a popular thing. But I, I, I'd have to, I'm not. I know none of this would be. These really are lovely. I wouldn't think this is all handmade. It's really bring money to buy things. No. Oh, a little turtle. Yeah. I like dessert bowls sometimes. I don't think they would put something over each. $25. Yeah, this one would be, it, 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 it's, it's, some kind of, it's some kind of um, just yeah. non, um, like one of those, 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 If I remember, it was a yoga class. This is nice, it's supporting Ukraine. Oh, no. uh, unless you think we need some farmhouse English biscuits. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Small yes, I love that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. They're directly from England. Yeah, George and I didn't have a whole lot of English. Ginger biscuits. What kind of biscuits are in the tank? Oh, I don't know. And I don't Chocolate and orange. Chocolate with orange marmalade and white chocolate. Orange marmalade. I can't read. You want to read that again? <laughs> chocolate and orange biscuits made with orange marmalade and dark chocolate chunks. For twenty-two dollars, we really don't need these. Should we get them anyway? I can't afford. Them. 
If we get them, you have to. <laughs> well, well, we bought some stuff. We got advent calendars, which is helpful. And I mean, advent candles, yeah, advent candles for our wreath, which was helpful. And we got some of those um, chocolate orange biscuits. Um, so now we're going to come over here and stroll and we may show you some stuff as we go. We'll see how it goes. There's a lot of woodcraft here and some lovely um, ornaments and things. It's really cool. Oh, look at this Florida cutting board. Or I guess I wouldn't use it as a cutting board. I would just put it on the wall in the kitchen, but it's so cool. All food must go to the laugh for testing. <laughs> That's adorable. So cool. <laughs> Vegetarian, old Indian word for bad hunter. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's true. I, I would not be a good hunter. And some Christmas stuff. Some, I don't know. There's all sorts of stuff down here. Cool. It's a hole all around the outside. Really neat. So we're making yet another purchase. A very adorable ornament that is similar to this one. We thought that was gorgeous. Thank you. And only $10, so fun treat for our tree. Thank you so And much. we just got the most adorable card, I'll show you in a second, from Anchored Expressions. So beautiful. I'll show you in a second. Got a birthday card for a friend, and it came with um, a green envelope and a silver envelope, so we can decide which one um, is best for mailing or giving in person, but super cool. Isn't that adorable? Looking at some aprons that this lady has painted. She's an artist, but she's got some beautiful things. And she paints and then she puts them onto fabric, dyes the fabric, to match her paintings. And you know, you get this little bag. And Lisa, as you saw, is thinking about an apron. Well, this looks like a huge stocking. Wow, and you can't see that because I'm not there. Are you from Jacksonville? Yes. Well, here's, here's next week's show. Oh, cool. So we were here a little earlier. And they have this string of pearls. If you've been watching for a while, you know that Lisa bought one before. But in fact now this will be the third one because you really, they don't need much care and she cares for them too much. So it did not do well. Oh, here's a lovely bag to put it in. I tried really hard not to kill it. <laughs> All right, very nice. Well, we are headed to check out some churches. We are on a tuk tuk. We go tucking. We're going tucking. Uh, yep, we are going tucking. This is fun. They have cool little vehicles, and I've been wanting to do this for a while. They offer tours of lots of different areas around, like Riverside, and um, different areas, different types of tours. So we definitely need to do one of their tuck in tours. So, so excited. Right now we're walking up to the AME Church, which is African Methodist Episcopalian, I think. Walk on the left side, that way you can open on the right side. Okay. We've got luminaries, lights, it's so beautiful. No, no, that side of the step. Yes, sir, I'm sorry, yeah. Then that way, because the door swings open. Yeah, now we have to step back. Yeah. And they've got a choir about to sing. Oh my word.
checking out St. John's Cathedral. And they have an angel tree or something like that. Sunday morning, it, it should sound different, distinct enough we'll here on, on a daily basis. Um, it should help us that, that everything that you see here is kind of meant to help you experience that differentness, um, gl the glimpse of the life of others. You see some more up there on the left, and some more up there on the right, and then behind those, those wooden So not a choir here, but we do have music. And I don't know what these are, what these instruments are called, but they sound very nice. side also there's a cockroach in one of them. Oh, really? <laughs> it's kind of wild. That's amazing. <laughs> altar was at the back. Oh. We moved the altar forward to be closer to the people. Oh. And this is the chapel from designed in 1970 you can probably see by the windows. Yeah. And there's uh so many good shopping opportunities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are now at First Presbyterian Church. I believe this is our last stop. It is beautiful. Actually, our last stop is where we parked the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. We um, thought it was closed at first, um, so we we are going to stop in and see it because they have opened it after all. So very excited! And there's a little tuk tuk. They were wonderful. Definitely check out the Go Tuck In. Um, tours because you can take a tour and I will link them below and I'm so excited that we get to go in and here is their sign oh Basilica of the Immaculate Conception I said it wrong it's 
So this is our final church and we parked right over, right in front of the church so we'll be able to leave easily. And we stepped into their garden and I thought it was cool. You can see the windows better from outside than inside. Is it St. Francis? I can't see the, this is Reverend Father Antonio Leon. I bet St. Francis is in here somewhere. This is a garden. That's really pretty. We've had a great night. Thanks for joining us. The church tour has reminded us about the real meaning of Christmas and we wish you a very Merry Christmas 